Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Megascan's Trees Common Hazel. This is early access. They just released this today. As you all know, I absolutely love the Quixel Megascan Tree series. If you don't know where to get this, go to free Megascans. And they have now the Common Hazel. They have the European Beach, the Hornbeam, and the Black Alder right here. If you don't have these in your freaking library, you might as well go ahead and get them because they are absolutely amazing. All right, so here it is. I went ahead and just added this to a project that I already have. So I have it right here. And we can check out the map first, kind of like the overview showing you where everything is. Uh, so here is the actual sample map. You can see all the species and all the types. You have some thin ones and some really thick ones back here. And again, these are Quixel Mega Scan assets, so you know they're about to be high quality. And of course, they're going to be Nanate. Nanite right here. Check this out. This is, this is, ugh, freaking amazing stuff. And again, one of the cool things about having, you know, these packs is that they have a global foliage actor blueprint, which pretty much lets you control all kinds of stuff. But you can mess around with this. You can change the health. And I actually tried animating this health to get a little bit of a, you know, animation from zero health to dead to like something that looks more alive, like 100. I tried animating that, but it's just not as smooth. There, You can actually see the transition. So I'm going to try and figure out if I can animate that a little bit better. But yeah, that's just really cool. So again, here is the example of these trees in, in kind of like a forest type scenario. I just, you know, went with PCG procedural content generation and just use these trees as pcg um if you don't know what i'm talking about check out the tutorial i'll put in the link in the description below but i pretty much use pcg to create this little small one by one right here just to showcase it a little bit so you can see what they look like so here is the actual mask itself so i have a spline right here that is running the actual uh pcg creation if you will let me see if i can find the point here so we can kind of adjust it so if i take this right here i can actually adjust the the actual spline itself and again that's going to generate automatically for me i just have the trees i actually have two so right now i'm only using two of the trees because i don't want to get too crazy in here uh but i'll show you them real quick you're going to get the geometry version which is just the static mesh but you also have the foliage if you want to use it say in like a procedural volume or something like that or in a painter directly but if you want to just check out what they look like as a mesh you can go to pivot painter or simple wind and yeah you can just drag and drop things in here so we have a couple in there but yeah you just drag i think i already have that so i'm gonna go right here i think i have the first two in the actual pcg volume so just kind of go drag and drop just add a little bit more so you can see everything in here. It's pretty cool. Now I do have, again, some uh, Mavi one, the ones that are disappearing. Um, I'm pretty sure those are Mavis right here. So ignore those. I just want you to focus on the hazel ones that I'm putting on right now. They shouldn't be disappearing. Yeah, they should be kind of there the whole entire time. But the ones that you're seeing kind of fading in now, those are the Mavi ones, okay? So here we go. I'll just drop a bunch of them in here. And if you like to place actors on your level manually, I mean, this is it right here. Okay, so I'll save this now. And again, these are all Nanite enabled by default. So it's pretty sick. And combined with the PCG volume, man, it is so easy to get something like this. And what's cool about this is I think it would be cool if in the future we would get pre-made PCG blueprints that we can just download and place in our scene and then change some static mesh around or whatever. And then boom, it creates a force for us. I know that's being lazy, <laughs> but that would be really cool. But at the same time, honestly, the PCG volume is not too bad. Um, we have a pie here. I just have a little character kind of walking around. That's a little bit too small for you to see. So let's change the resolution here. We have it 1944. So 2160. It's okay. And then this playing the pie here. So you can see a little bit better. Um, I can go to first person if you want, really. But here are the trees. They're looking pretty darn nice, to be honest. 
Yeah, those the, the ones that are fading in and out, like I said, those are mobbies, okay? I didn't set those up properly. So let me get out of the first person view. Do have some crazy collisions in here. But this is this is cool, man. It is just a one by one though. So it's a pretty small area. That's why it's pretty performant right now. It's running pretty well. I swear, these these are like some amazing trees. And again, the wind all built in, the color. It, 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 Quicksil people, they just make your life so much easier, man. This is just so freaking cool. Look at this. But honestly, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I just want to go ahead and just showcase that so y'all can download it. Um, I really don't want to have any more hard drive space, which freaking sucks. But it is what it is. This is, again, free. If you're using Unreal Engine, this is free for you to download. So...